Okay, we got day five here. This is mid berm, halfway rebuilt. That's the second bay right there, 140-ish feet from corner to corner. Could be about 120 feet long in total, but this is the rubber tire loader. So that's pretty cool. Got this other bay down here I gotta get working on. But we'll get it done. I'm building the uh, center berm back between bays one and two. I got that 15 foot tall, 15 and a half foot tall chingus right there. You can see what's going on. I built myself a pretty nice ramp and a platform to climb up on. And then we're gonna climb up on it. I'm gonna do this one-handed in the most dangerous fashion because I need two hands realistically should be two hands should be being used but that's just not how we play here they're stacking this dirt we tip over it'll be on camera even though I might I might lose the camera in the process because I'll be falling off of a 10 foot tall mound of dirt and that'll be interesting to watch so we're doing it with the most care, with one hand possible, like the amputee that I am. So now we've placed that and we're backing up. We're going to back it up, 120 foot long ramp here. And we're backed up. We're backing it up. Anyhow, this is the pile I'm... The pile that was previously moved, I'm moving again and putting it in a pile. Because that's what happens. You pile it here, you pile it there. Anyway, that's one hell of a scoop right there. Okay, still here, still working on this. This uh, shooting project, shooting bays, shooting whatnot, shooting place, who knows. Anyway, I'm halfway built with this berm and we had an executive decision to short it, shorten it up from 15 feet high to 12 feet high because we're running out of dirt. We didn't quantify the amount of dirt coming from this, this center berm to begin with so we were winging it and it turns out the redesigned berm was going to consume at least almost all the dirt we had available. So uh, someone who's in charge of the place. Uh, he made the call. So that's what we're doing. Shorten it up, which makes my life a little bit easier because it was taking for frickin' ever to build that thing 15 feet high. It's supposed to be 15 feet high, 30 feet wide, and that's a typical... Uh, that's a typical type of a dirt stack. 45 degree slopes. Uh, natural stack dirt is approximately like that. Sand or gravels or other sorts of dirts and their natures depend on certain variables and their overall stack profile can be different. So this one ended up being a little wider at the bottom than we, than we anticipated for 30 feet. So anyhow, it benefits everybody. This thing being 12 feet tall versus, versus that 15 feet tall burn. I'm just, just fiddling it in here. I dump a couple buckets down and then I sprinkle it to elevation. And then when I feel like I need to get out and check grade, I get out and check grade. So that's how it goes. You can see over here, that shooting bay. It's 100, 120 long on one side, 140 on the other. Uh, about 60 feet wide. Anyway, not that too. Dirt getting moved is important. And I'm just doing it with one hand again because that's the safest way to do it. So you have your other hand free to hold the camera. That's usually how it goes. So, and then, you know, you just 
flip the button with one hand and you go back to the steering with the other hand. You got one hand on a knob 100% of the time, whether it's a steering knob or a, a other knob. There's a couple knobs in here to grab in this cab. I'm gonna rhyme, I guess. These are all rhymes I'm doing. We're raining out here, so when you get a chance with your free hand that's not steering or flipping switches and whatnot, reach over there and grab your wiper knob, and then you got a free wiped clear windscreen. And then that's great. So when you're not steering, you're clicking switches with the other hand, the steering hand knob, when it's free to click the switches. You can hear them in the background probably clicking. I got one forward and one reverse clicker, and then I got a trigger to set my differential lock for when I'm getting a good scoop on and I need to not spin all those tires. So that also helps, it's handy. It's definitely handy, because nobody wants to see a, a $5,000 tire spinning, uh, at least from my experience. I mean, I want to see him spinning, but the guy paying the bills definitely don't want to see that tire spinning. So that's why we use the dip lock. Uh, plus it helps productivity because it's a little can be muddy out here because of the rain or maybe not So that's cool. That's why we do it Whoa. Third gear pinned slow down for the pile stab the pile scoop the pile pull out from the pile Crank the wheel click the forward button climb the ramp Dump the bucket you see that grade rod sticking up over there? I got it pegged in the dirt. That's my that's my impromptu uh, grade rod because I don't have a long grade rod. I've only got an eight footer. So I've got my concrete pole stuck together with some sort of measuring device on there. So, and I'm just sprinkling it in there, you know, cause I don't want it too high. Cause then I gotta, I gotta do a move to knock it down. So it's within that grade, you know what I'm saying? So right now, we're making good progress, so I'm going to jump out and check that grade after we clear the wipers. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, I checked the grade, and the grade's good, so I'm going to continue on here. It's starting to get a little bit rainy out here, which... I don't care for but it helps the process. No, we need the rain anyway. We got to here in southern Utah fill up all the reservoirs. We got to fill all the reservoirs as much as possible with a substantial amount of water because we got all these yahoos coming in that are consuming our waters. Not just like, not just any old regular yahoos, a bunch of, a bunch of yahoos that want to stay in 16 new motels, hotels that are going up on the the mountain, uh, stuff like that. Not just regular people that want better for their lives to live here, which is in great number, but there's also a bunch of yahoos moving around uh, in our neck of the woods for like recreation. And those assholes want lots of water. That's why they need to fill all these reservoirs. Rather than leave the water underground where it should be long, you know, they're like, now nah, we gotta fill those reservoirs so we got those boating guys, they like to ski, and and then they need the water, right? That's, that's about how it works. And you gotta get your wiper knob when your hands are free. Sometimes it actually turns into the blinker, which is no surprise. Because the blinker's on the same lever as the wiper knob. I got a huge rock in the bucket there. I'm hopeful that it spills off to the side so I can gather it up later. It's starting to get slick right here because of the water that's on the ground. Hopefully I can keep going. And we got the wind has changed direction, which is nice because it was going a different direction a minute ago. And well, it's not nice because it's blowing back on me. And you can see that in the windshield with all the dust and whatnot. See that? <laughs> we gotta wipe it off. 
That's enough of that.